Mr. Speaker, I rise this morning to bring to the attention of my colleagues an important event taking place this Friday in the 15th Congressional District of Florida, of which I have the privilege to represent. With the opening of the Florida Center for Cybersecurity on the campus of the University of South Florida, also known as USF, in Tampa this Friday, our state marshals the strength of all the Florida's public universities to respond to our nation's cybersecurity workforce needs. The center will help develop the next generation of technology to prevent cyber attacks and provide a resource for Florida businesses to help them prevent and, if necessary, respond to cyber threats. I want to congratulate the Board of Governors for our state university system, our Florida State Legislature, our Florida Governor, for recognizing the critical importance of the growing cyber threat to Florida residents and business owners throughout the world. These leaders are doing something about that threat by establishing the Florida Center for Cybersecurity. They recognize that with our growing reliance on Internet connectivity each and every day, cybersecurity becomes increasingly more vital. Cybersecurity reaches every facet of modern life, from national security to personal communication, from data storage to banking security, from healthcare privacy to transportation safety. In just seven the center has enrolled its first 100 students in a special cybersecurity master's degree program. Just last October, the program at USF became only the second in the nation to be designated as a national center of academic excellence in information assurance and cybersecurity. The center continues to address the serious shortfall in our nation's cybersecurity workforce by bringing online degree, certificate, and training programs to facilitate industry, recognize specializations to enhance the cybersecurity workforce, mitigate cybersecurity threats, and attract new businesses to Florida and across our great nation. Most importantly, the university will reach out to our nation's heroes who have proudly served in uniform and returned to civilian life to allow them to continue to protect our homeland. Tampa is the perfect home for this Nuber cyber mission with its close proximity to the headquarters of the U.S. Central Command, the U.S. Special Operations Command, and the Joint Cyber Command at McDill Air Force Base. The Tampa Bay region is also a center for our state's financial and health care industries. National, state, and local businesses, large and small, will benefit from the continuing outreach and educational programs offered by the Florida Center for Cybersecurity at USF. Mr. Speaker, I applaud USF's energy and innovation in responding to the national and international cyber threat. This is the type of quick and thorough response our nation needs as we bring together the best our public and private sectors have to offer in protecting our citizens and our businesses from this ongoing threat to our national security, our personal security, and economic security. Congratulations, USF, and go Bulls. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Blumenauer, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. One of the areas where Congress has repeatedly come together in a nonpartisan fashion to make real progress has been legislation dealing with the protection of animals. This is something that unites us, as we've been able to deal with a series of common-sense steps to assure we meet the standard of care. That's why it was so horrific to read the terrible front-page article in the New York Times on January 20th about the Federal Animal Research Center in Clay Center, Nebraska. Moving from the front page to two full pages on the inside were truly grotesque and horrifying examples of animal abuse. A young cow had its head locked in a cage-like device to keep her immobile 